What's up, everyone? Welcome to another edition of the Starlight Digest, a podcast bringing you light talk and digesting Star Wars topics over a thousand years. This is episode 98 being recorded on, what day is it? February 10th, 2021. Wow. And I am your host, Darth Moocher. I'm joined here with Darth Dad 77 Chris. What's going on? I'm joined here with Scott Solo. Hey, what's up, nerds? We got Bootleg Joe with us. Hi, friends. <laughs> and we've got Ernie the Fallen Fett. Hey, guys, what's up? And we also have the chat room with us, too. So everybody that's joining us live on this nice, what is it, Wednesday? Um, I'm all over the place. My head is, like, in it the really clouds. Are, today, so. even if it really week, is. It's still Wednesday when it's biweekly. That's, that's right. We haven't done it any other day, have we? So, Not um, a we did Mondays. long time. We did Mando Mondays for a we while. We did. So could you get a little so confusing? Yeah. I'm ready to fire him right now. No, I yeah. <laughs> Marco's all over the place today. He didn't even know what the topics were. He's out of control. No. I know everything. It's all part of the plan. But anyway, chat room is here with us. Scott, go ahead and shout out everybody who's with us today. Hey, what's up, Santo1414? We've got Adam the Urban Spidey. We've got Gordon in here, Mando Mike, and yeah, other people who are not in there talking yet. Give right. us a shout out. Let us know what's up in your life. It's nice. all you guys. We nice. only have an hour, Scott. Yeah. We- <laughs> just, oh, never mind. We don't want to know. Keep just it to yourself. Say, tell them, say what's up. That's about oh, it. There you go. Yeah. 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 Nice. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's get into Star Wars news real fast. Um. About five minutes ago or ten minutes ago. <laughs> 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 this is crazy. Um. We did get word. <laughs> five minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> like, um. We got word that Cara Dune is no longer gonna be visible in the Mandalorian. Um, we're going to keep this fiction, guys. So Kara Dune is no longer, we're not going to see her. And I didn't really expect to see her uh, moving forward in the series, just knowing where, or not knowing, but like kind of speculating where the series was going anyway. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, so so does, it, does it matter, right? Because no. we all assumed she was going to be part of the Rangers of the New Republic with right. her and the X-Wing folks and, and, you know, what have you. We assumed it, exactly. We, we assumed it. Um, does it really matter if she's not there? You could put no. any character at this point, right? She was a generic character anyway. Yeah, I think um, her character came full circle anyway in the last season. Um, you know, I really did. I thought it was there was yeah. closure there. There wasn't anything really left open. She did what she had to do, and she went back doing it. Yeah, right. She did so, it pretty badass too. I mean, so, guns yeah. jamming and shooting people, and she got you know she shot that guy who insulted Alderaan. So <laughs> that's right. So all is good, right? She she made a little men's, made some friends, yeah. and then got a badge. We're we're done. Correct, correct. So, so I'm okay with it. it I and mean, they, it we could have said that one somewhere. It could have been, but that could have ended her arc, and we would have correct. Been, like, would we have if if when Carson uh, when Carson Teva tossed her, you know, the the badge. That that I mean, that's a good closing scene to kind of even say like, okay, like okay, we knew she was back. Like there was right. her closure. Yeah. Um, this happened, or I mean, they can just plainly go back and be like, she blew up with Alderaan. Sorry. Right. <laughs> or, or they don't have to say anything anymore, right? Mm. They never have to right. bring her up. It's a big galaxy. She's not like she was. That's she's only been around for a half a minute. Yeah, that's what I'm hiding, saying. She was hiding a minute ago. The way episode three ended, or so uh, season two was ending, it didn't look like we were going. We were, he was. It was like a brand new adventure anyway. Like it was this whole. Because uh, we already know the Mandalorian's going off to yeah. rule Mandalore, right? Din's going off with Bo-Katan. Right. Gonna, right. That's that's gonna be Mandalorian three. Is gonna be in that world. Right. Boba Fett's got his own thing going on with all the bounty hunters and Cad Bane and what have you. You know, Ahsoka's dealing with Thrawn. It's it's. You don't Rangers of the Republic can be anything. Right. We don't have any clue. Any, it's fine. Right. Again, as far as the Mandalorian oh, Ernie. goes. Yeah. Ernie, that shirt, dude. Awesome. Thank you. Thank oh, you. That is Speaking awesome of shirt. Boba Fett. Can you stand uh, up and turn around? Somebody had sent it to me. I don't know. Ooh. So oh. if you're on here, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> it says long live the king on it. And it's got so, Boba nice. Fett on the throne. That was awesome. That's- yeah, I got it yesterday. <laughs> It said it came from Canada, so Kevin, this is you. Thanks, man. I awesome. appreciated it. Toying around, why, he's from. Why are people sending us crap? What the heck? I, I, well, I they sure are. Asked. Bernie's getting it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I put our address on everything. No, so I love it. <laughs> I I do. It's great. Um, it's dope. I'm waiting for Marco to hook up your picture on the back of a jacket for me. Yeah. I tell me when, Marco. I got the jackets ready. It's I I'm up and running. You're gonna now, put so. my picture on the back of your jacket? <laughs> no. Like a meat? <laughs> the art of Scott Solo. Yeah. I'm putting that oh, one that's that he did. Yeah. His rendition of this scene. Yes. I'm yeah. throwing that on the back of a jacket. 
Nice. So yeah, that one. Every, yeah. Yes, that one. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, whoever sent this to me. Um, like I said, it came from Canada. So if it was toying around, Kev. And real quick, guys, uh, since we're on the subject of Carson Teva with there, I mean that was a great closing. Um, so Kev tomorrow actually has Carson Teva on the show. They're opening what? toys. Yeah. Um, opening toys. Nice. Yeah. So if you remember, he's the one who. The cosplay. Show, yes. Showed them how to dress and everything like that. Um, he's he's going to be on there at 6 p.m. You know, he's from um, Kim's Convenience as well, too. And so uh, he he got him on because he's a nerd just like one of us. Right. That's awesome. So I'm hoping to hop in there, too. And maybe if he likes it, maybe one day he can jump over here, too. And, and Absolutely. We'll see. Yeah. What is see this how maybe it goes. crap? What is this maybe crap? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Make it happen, Ernie. Yeah. Right. Hey, yeah. hey, you're if, the man with the magic words. Do, do if, it. If we're uh, if we're pimping our friend shows too, Carbonite Convos, who I was on and who's going to be on here, has Emily Shaw popping on this week too. They already recorded. Oh, that. for real? Emily yeah. Shaw, the armorer. Yes. Yeah. Remember, I said that like we should try to get her. We totally should have. And look at me, yeah. Chicken. <laughs> Not chicken it out, but I was just scheduling us out a little bit, trying not to overwhelm with interviews. But you know Let's what? Overwhelm us. You're overwhelm always up with there with interviews. the authors. Yeah, yeah uh, I was, and that's, I was, that's awesome. But, but I'm see, like this. So, like Kevin did yeah. too. Um, he reached out to Paul, and he was like, "Yeah, let me check it out." And I mean, he's like, "Yeah, I have stuff too," because that's all Kev's show is is they just open figures which right i don't why would you do that but well. I, I don't get it <laughs> he had me on one time and i like open two i think and then I, was little, I did it's it really like slow call, they had to call nine one one. right yeah yeah, yeah. So it's, not, it's not like toy porn when other people do it <laughs> you're not right. it, you don't get excited about it dude so many people love to see me anguish that they do yeah. Can yeah. You imagine what's going on on the other side of that okay when they send me that? figs like that <laughs> um, they straight give see, look it right. Don't, isn't that don't awesome? Do I mean, that's the way you should do it. You should look. Just, yeah. Just, see how I don't have, I don't have I'm, that. I'm one using yet. my <laughs> left hand too, so yeah, it feels see? like somebody else is opening it. And that's what <laughs> Ken tries to explain to me and everything too. But he did. He just reached out to Paul and they got it going and. He's a nerd, so he's like he's excited to open up figures with Kev. I'm excited to see what he has. Yeah, as, as a collector wise, you know what I mean. But for reals, Chris, I mean you're usually our PR guy. I okay, think we I'm need on. to start. We need to start hitting these guys up because sure. like if they got the armorer, which was cool. That was the one that you saw last week, right? The Carbonite show. No, oh, uh, Carbonite combos. I was on a couple like uh, in December time frame. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Awesome. Oh, that one. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. That's and, and they're going to be cruising on with us probably in this month. Right. Okay. Get them on here with us. And That's we got way Pershing, cool. We got Pershing coming up in March. So. Yes. Yeah. And right. next yeah, so week. There. I mean, that's locked in for us. So if we can go from yeah. there, that's that's cool. Why not? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm so for it. seeing that with the whole Kara thing, and we know she's a character. Um, if she's gone, she's gone. I'm sure they can write around it. Right. Right. I, I'm, but like I'm saying, with that scene to them, that was kind of a closure one to me. It was. It, it, like, it was and it can't well the thing is we can make it closure because they didn't leave it really open like they really didn't make it like open-ended where correct it would be kind of funny or um mm -hmm. lost if they didn't never went back to that character and whatnot um yeah we don't know what was again we don't know what was planned and at this point we don't care i mean it's it, there's nothing planned we don't know nothing's right. official so they could do whatever they want um but yeah so you know we like to keep it fiction here, guys. So we always, it, you know, look at the impact of what it Star sucks Wars anytime is, so. we lose a, a Star Wars character. Of course, of so, course. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, so, even Imperials, I hate to lose. Right, right. I miss yeah, Tarkin. She was a cool one. Yeah, though. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, oh, oh. Yeah. All right. Hey, but speaking of things they do have planned, High Republic. What popped over there this week? Yeah, man. Into uh, the Dark came out. Yeah. So, what is that? A new book or is that a comic? So Claudia Gray's book, uh, Into the Dark. Into Claudia the dark. Gray, the, um, who are in oh, the one that we spoke on for the pre-order last week. Yep. Yes. Yes. Nice. So nice. we're we've been. Uh, I know I have. I'm reading it. I'm not listening to it. And I'm like, you know, uh, chapter six or I think chapter seven. So I'm getting That's right. Better than the prologue. Yeah, yes, it is. Thank you very much. Uh, I know Chris and Scott are doing the audio books. Have you guys yep. finished it? Almost twice. Almost twice. Oh wow. I'm I'm only on chapter nine, so yeah. anything we say, which is fine, spoil it away. I already kind of well, no, know some of the here's stuff the thing that's coming. Spoil it. Speaking okay. of spoiling, guys, StarWars.com or the YouTube already uh, gave you the, um, <laughs> the, the 
little snippets that they've been doing on character, like kind mm-hmm. of uh, character previews. Well, they spoiled. I've seen those. Yeah, they spoiled the main villain right there, and I'm like, wait a second, people are not even. You know, you can figure that oh, out in real? chapter three, though. You, yeah, but uh, I mean, that's something yeah. that's I would think you would show be up saved. In their, you show up in their location where they're at, and immediately you you mm. kind of get the jive of what's going on. So yeah, it's a big alien. The jive, yeah. the jive. I dig that. That's not a term we. No, use this is this really. is very really cool. I'm gonna um, use that all week now. Awesome. So then, are we gonna give it a week, and then maybe next week you'll break it down, Chris? Well, yeah, because yeah, because Claudia is gonna be on. Correct. Oh, so that's uh, already coming up. Yep. So we'll have Claudia Gray next week coming on with us, and we'll talk about the the behind the scenes stuff. And then later in the afternoon, we have our live show. Yeah, and we'll break down the actual book and go through it. Yeah, that's cool. There, I think that's a good else. plan. Absolutely. Yes, because the Claudia interview is going to be early, correct? Correct. It's and going so to be pre-recorded. Actually, yes. Yeah. So we won't actually get that till probably the next day. Right. But we'll upload it then. So we'll do the live show at night. We'll break down the book, kind of mm-hmm. talk about the Claudia uh, interview, and then put that out the next day too. Right. So we'll be full of stuff. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Awesome. Um, no, the book to me so far, the book is absolutely amazing. Like I said, yeah. Claudia Gray's is a is it as a better read for me. I I I get really into her books. Like her way of writing, I'm into it. It's I don't really have to like I don't get lost or start, you know, losing like such big words that I have to look those words up and see what they mean. Um but I'm digging it, man. I'm really digging it. You know, I know that uh I'll give uh, Force Choke Podcast a shout out here. I know that they've been going through into the, you know, um, uh, the first one, the Light of the Jedi, right? Yes. And they're not digging it, right? But they're they're giving yeah. it a chance. So I'm, I'm and I get them. it. Why? Yeah. Right? We all know why. Oh, we, yeah. We've talked about it on here. We had to go through it twice. Correct. I needed that first part of that book twice. And I needed that. Uh, mm-hmm. You got to get past Jedi the first third of the. Help. Yeah, you got to get past the first third of that book. There's because so much. that's the setup. Yeah, and then by that last third, I was just like, oh my god, this is a really good setup and. Um, like yes. I said, uh, go. You know, they they have their opinion, but they're doing it right. They're saving. They're kind of like you know saving everything for last and and making a, a big assumption. And not everybody can like everything, and that's cool. And there, I know that they've been getting some flack on Instagram and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And I just you know, like I said, hey, those guys. Nobody has to like everything. These are books. It's not yeah. ultimately impactful <laughs> on the Star Wars lore. I mean, they're, they're in this oh, we're in this gonna era argue now. yet, yeah, yet, yet. Um, but no, just give it a chance. It's good. This book is good. I know that the comics are dropping. I'm waiting for all of those to be in one glump sum so I can read them all at one time. Um, yeah, man, I, I'm on board. It, 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 is a, it is a chore. You know what it is? It, it's hard. It's kind of like when you have a um, a multi-comic book event going on, right? And you're not knowing which part of the story you're in at that moment when you're in it. Right. You, know, mm. you have a Green Lantern, a Batman, a Superman all going on at once. Right. And it's like, wait, that took place during that book, but that took place, where am I in time? Correct. And, and that's kind of the, the hardest part about the, the books so far. But yeah. you get over it. And this book, like you said, with, with Claudia's writing, I don't care where I'm at. I'm having, I have yeah. a standalone book here. Yeah, man. And, and I, I meet new people. And this wreath is, is right now, I said I couldn't figure out who my favorite Jedi was. I was really assuming it was going to be somebody powerful and badass, right? Uh, um, Loden has so far had been probably probably leaning up to that right and skier. Those are things I really like. Right. Mm-hmm. But somehow Reith is now my favorite. I'm not even questioning it. He's my favorite Jedi in the, in this era. Yeah. Um, and it's not because he's powerful because he's not. Uh, he likes the Lord. Because he's one he of us. Books. He <laughs> likes to study. He's one of us exactly. He's one of us. Yeah. And he's this, also he's also not all knowledgeable about everything. Right. I mean, he's no. learning. He, but he, he wants to on himself. And exactly. he wants to. Be. Right. Right. And. The way he, you see, you read what's going on in his head while he's trying to figure out: do you know? Do I ignite the saber? Do I take this guy down? Do I not? Can I? What? What can oh, I do? Man, and okay, how about yeah. the, we're going to spoil a little bit when he took that dude's hand, right, or yeah. his arm? He had guilt. He had PTSD and guilt right afterwards, right? right? He has an issue with wait, it. Wait, wait, we have an arm loss? We <laughs> do. We have a limb loss. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. it's Star Wars. Right. Yeah. And they don't remember, and they don't lose their they don't use their lightsabers against people in this era, right? They really didn't even in the prequel era for much for all intents and purposes. Uh, correct. Right. It, it's but right now it's even more rare. I don't know why. But it's not mm-hmm. happening. And when he has to do it and make that decision to do it, it's a big deal. And later on, he's like, I took somebody's you know, he has a problem using a lightsaber on somebody that he yeah. hit a, a person. So I think that's a really big deal. And it leads back to Luke, right? I mean, I talked about, I know I hate to lead right to there, but that's cutting somebody's arm off. The dude has a couple of days of guilt. He blew up a million people. Right. It's going to last for a while. And then so went just, right just, to Echo Base. Yeah, <laughs> so, right. So I'm just saying, it just it's just nice that what, what I tend to see, okay, Claudia Gray took care of about 18 different things that people complained about in this book. 
a couple of them being like uh, Last Jedi and Leia in space. Right. Oh, she right. was quite clear that yeah. Wreath, Wreath had studied and knows for a fact that you can live in space for a few minutes unless you already have oxygen in your lungs. Correct. And that was, oh. he went through it, how you could live for minutes out yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So went through that piece, went through, uh, well, a couple, a couple other bits, but it's just like really taking care of us and, and handling things. And, and as she does. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a it's a beautiful read. I'm enjoying it the second time through. I'm going to probably go. I will go through a third time with her because again, I tend to jump around and do things while I'm sure. while I'm listening because I that's how I get through them a couple times. But I'll, I'll catch it back up and, and make sure it's concise for her. I wonder if that was on the whiteboard of uh, the things discussed. Like, make sure you mention space surviving in space. <laughs> Dude, you would and think take so. somebody's arm. Yeah. Oh, what I what I love that they're talking about. Okay, they're talking about legends, right? Uh, legends and myths, and and the quote, you know, there's always some truth in legends. Right. Comes up, and I'm like, and it's right around the time when they're talking about the Jedi archives and what matters and all this stuff, and that that happens. And I'm like, she's seriously talking to us, and yep. I think that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I dig it. So it'll be a blast to have her on. Right. Good book so far. Yeah. If you, I mean, so far and a half. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pick it up. It's yeah, good. yeah. Um, just real fast. Yeah, in the chat room, Force Choke Podcast is in there. Just joined us. Yeah, we we went over that. Um, but uh, we're referring to her as Cara Dune and the impact on Star Wars and everything. On Star Wars in general. Correct. Um, but yeah. So there was another up, Barry? podcast event, right, Chris? Like the, you said, Star Wars. Oh Day, yeah, or, dig yeah. it. So this week, well, this weekend was supposed to be National Pod Star Wars Podcast Day. Okay. Where we there was like ninety podcasts all signed up, but not everybody's doing it on the same day, right? We're this is this is basically our national podcast episode here, right? Um, so we wanted to say that, and uh, thank you for Daniel Contreras. He sets it all up, and he also runs uh, Star Wars Now. This is podcasting um, website. So if you look that up, that's where you're going to find a um, basically an index of all these Star Wars podcasts and where to find them right. um, on socials, um, on YouTube, on everything. So he's put together this website, this database of all of us in there. Awesome. So it's pretty neat, whoever signed up. So I signed us up, obviously. Yeah. How would we not be in there? Exactly. Right. And exactly. There's, and he's, he's communicated with me a couple of times about it and making sure we were all in there. He knew he knew he's all, so you guys have a bunch of people in your show. I watched a couple. Of, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I, we sure do. A lot of, you know? a lot of heads, um, yeah. And it works beautifully. Damn. Yeah, we have a good listener base. And and now our live base is growing, yeah. too. So that's that's awesome that he reached out for that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. It was it was really cool. So um, it's about time we had a national Star Wars podcast that you know. And speaking of Star yeah. Wars podcast day, everybody smile at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> for how long? You didn't say it for. I'm how long. frozen. Dude. I don't know until <laughs> Chris says. Oh, we're good. We're good. Scott's we're good. frozen. Okay. Is that good? Okay. <laughs> All right. We're way more uppity wow. now. We're I do good. that for Chris. Thank you. We are. It is uppity. hard to do a screenshot, but it we're is. uppity today. It should be cool. Sometimes right. we're just like, you know, news sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, yeah. I mean, so it's... next week we'll definitely break it down so that me and Joey know yeah. what's going on. Oh, we'll get you the whole. Yes, we'll get. We'll do story time next week. Yes. But we do have yeah. something all of us can do. Uh, kind of I'm... enjoy and bring to this podcast right now. If you guys want to get into it, because last week I know Chris had. Uh, Came up with a fun concept that he was going to do on someone else's show, but whatever. Go, oh. listen, go listen to last week. <laughs> so <laughs> what, I don't. Yeah. I didn't respond because I just didn't want to. You're right. But he did apologize. Ah. So uh, two days. Oh. Ago. Okay. Two days ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a solid while. I'm not sure if he heard the podcast but, or not. So. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Let's see. That's a little. That's about five days late, right? So, right. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, four dollars short. That's yeah. Funny. But yeah, we did. Um, we were talking about our five top. Um, Starfighters last week, and then we had a discussion on Jedi Knights, and basically um, their attitude, you know, what everything. It was a fun discussion, right? So we decided this week we would uh, continue that kind of uh, tradition and go with our five top uh, three and three quarter figures from history, from 1977 to the date, and three and three quarters. Now, not all of us collect three and three quarters. I think only one of us here does, and I think Joey might get a couple of them. Um, here and there, know. but as far as like, but we, I think we've all collected it in the past. We all have, yeah, and nice. yes, and, and we know point. about it. So, it, and I like to uh, continue that, right? So, so Chris and and uh, wanted to uh, have us put together a list and everything, and bring up bring up our, uh, apart our five top three and three quarters. And in chat room, you guys can join in also and tell us uh, what your guys' favorite too and stuff, and we'll give those shout top outs five. too. Yeah, top five, like and. I think what when we're discussing it, like it's not necessarily articulation 
or sculpt molds and everything. It, it, this, oh, no, no. There's always it's it's the dark saber treatment, right? It's the story behind them, right? So that's what matters more to us as collectors, I think. Rather, well, oh, the dark. I don't know. Saber I mean, there's so slick. That was nice, wasn't it? It was the dark the- <laughs> saber treatment. Look at that. Was that planned? Did you have that? I did not down? write that, that down. Solid. No, no. That was good. Uh, Speaking of dark sabers, Scott's gonna have to look all over his carpet for his because he ripped that box over. <laughs> Now it's lost. Right there, <laughs> He's got right there. Right there. Right there. That's fake. That's awesome. But um, fake. who wants to kick it off? Uh, Let's do it. Chris, you want to kick it off? I'm going to go last. Okay. Chris, kick it Let's off, Let's do man. it. Okay. I'm I'm going to share the screen. You ready? Okay. okay. You give, Do I have permission? Whoa. You got it. Is somebody going to share mine? Well, I do have because it. Because I set it in the game. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to share it. I don't either. Marco right. set it up. Oh, Scott set it up. Somebody set it up. Go, Chris. Can you yeah, see yeah, that? Yeah, yes. Yeah. All right. My number five is the Royal Guard. How can it not be? From 1983, the original. Because in 1983, I'm a six-year-old uh-huh. boy. And I am really excited to see this thing. Yes, nowhere, right? We're used to stormtroopers. We're, we're used to stormtroopers and the, and the, the all-white or maybe the TIE fighters and the all-black. All of a sudden, the emperor comes out of the shuttle. Amazing. We're already excited Amazing. About, right? And you see this. And then they're they're around when uh, you go into the emperor's throne room on the Death Star. Yeah. Phenomenal. And I, then later on, we get him into prequels. I, I will say that uh, this figure was high on my list. Yeah. And uh-huh. for exactly those reasons, man. Just unlike anything you'd ever seen before in Star Wars. Yeah. Amazing. Exactly. The, just, did it also yeah. make you, I hate to jump, jump genres here, but uh, the G.I. Joe Crimson Guard uh, also did yeah. the same thing for me. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, like, I don't know why the Red Guard just seemed to be like, oh, whoa, those are dope. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Beautiful. Back then. Cool. Let's see, number four. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and he oh, broke it. The yes. Viper Scout, same year. Yes. Again. Oh, that's a good one. Absolutely. Probably My the favorite same. Stormtrooper. There you go. How could it not be? And yeah. again, we go through all this stuff. And a, storm, a snow trooper is cool too. But when you get to Return of the Jedi, everything was just next it, level. It yeah, was. It could have been our ages. It's true. It could have been everything. Return yeah. of the Jedi was crisp, clear, and just a, so awesome. He's a biker. I mean, how can you not like that? I mean, that's so cool. And we cool. all had yeah. the one that exploded. We hit the little button in the back, right? <laughs> yes. I mean, On yeah. accident all the time. Uh, my favorite was a zip cord. Oh, yeah. You I remember, your remember hand, that. You rip your oh. hand off from doing it. Yep. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, so that that's that's number four, and those Very are pretty good. good for five and four. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great, great uh, job, Chris. Great job. Yay! I love when I get great jobs. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, sorry about the fuzz there. That's gnarly. There you go. But uh, Darth Maul, and you know why I like this one? Because it brought us all back. Gotcha. Right. This yeah. is when Star Wars was gone for a while. Darth Maul was the new face. Right. We went to the, uh, cel- I went to Celebration One. We've got all the Maul gear. We're all excited about it. I come back and get Marco in line at Toys R Us, and we get all the. <laughs> Darth Maul stuff we can get on on the first toy, and then we come out and he gets cut in half on opening night. I know. So, <laughs> the thing is, he had so much hope, so much love, and I still love Darth Maul because even in the even going into now, he's become one of the best and well, uh, yeah, man, uh, fleshed out characters in all of the lore. So uh, that's one of those figures, the, the regular basic first Darth Maul, which I have laying around here somewhere, but with the Comtech chip too. I mean, beautiful. Sure. I'm just glad he didn't fall apart when I know. Up the back Wouldn't that have sucked? <laughs> I think, yeah. Didn't the Comtech say more than he did? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. I, I, and fa- I, yeah, a lot more. He did the line that was in the trailer. Right. And right. I can't remember what that is right now because, you know, I just, that's old. I'm old. So, <laughs> that was 22 years ago. I'm not trying. I'm go so, view the trailer tonight. This <laughs> one's a little tricky coming down to two. Okay. Yeah. And you guys All were right. talking about it prior to the show. So sorry. Lando, Lando, Power of the Force, with the honorable mention to, to Lobot because he was in the picture. So the nice. the the buff sculpted 1995 yes. Lando. Okay, this is really an homage to all of the Power of the Force. To be honest, oh, yeah, no. buff he looks. But yeah, I, let's remember for whatever reason, Lando, Lando was Lando and three PO were the were the warmers. Yeah, yeah, right? yes, and I, yeah, yeah. Um, you you could get Lando all day. I could probably still go to a Target and find Lando sitting there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you could but, find a KB, I'm pretty sure they're still on clearance at KB. <laughs> <laughs> um, but right. that, that's one of those things where it's not a great figure, but it's one. It, the Power of the Force series brought us all back. Absolutely. I had every one of them on the orange card, on the green card, on every damn thing you could get. But the Power of the Force, as horrible as they were, horrible, overly buff Luke and Vader and Chewie is yoked and. Well, Lando has a 12 pack. It's just not right, but those figures are awesome. And I had a, every one of them on my wall. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Drum That's roll. Now. Number one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is strictly 
And I don't even know why. But as a kid, the cloud crawler. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. Nice. Uh-huh. He's the most basic figure. Yeah. Yeah. Plain ass white, got dingy so as hell quick. Yeah. But did. who else had a bent arm? Right. Nobody right. had a com at that time. And look at the helmet. He's yeah. awesome. He's so random. And I had the cloud car and we're just and I love the cloud car. I don't we don't talk about it a lot. And I never give the cloud car any kind of credit about anything. And I wouldn't have used it in a starship anyway, right? Right. 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 I would but, do a Haslab cloud car any day. Absolutely. That, yeah. And on a heartbeat. I would get a I'd get a six inch or a pop. I mean, we're missing this, really. Yeah. And I've never yeah. really brought it up because as I was thinking about my figures and what I loved as a kid, this one popped right up and I had it all the time. It was always in every fight. I don't awesome. know why. Awesome. But that's you my know, top it's, it's funny. It's pretty cool, man. It, it's funny. Whenever whenever I was growing up, we would play out on the schoolyard. We would just, you know, pick a genre, pick a show, and we'd play acts. You know, the, right. this is what we're going to do. One of them was V. I loved oh, the gosh, show yes. V. Yes, yes, you know, yes, yes. V, the final, v, the final battle. They had those guns that were double-ended. You know, there, there was a, a laser gun on top and, and a handle in the middle, and I would use my cloud car <laughs> as my gun. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's good improvisation. Awesome. Well, like good it. stuff. That top you know, five was, you do what you was do. really, really good. I know that. Yeah, uh, it was really good. Cliff in the chat said, TIE Very Fighter nice, Pilot nice. the mail or- and Mail Order Emperor and Han Solo was his. Um, Han I can, Solo I, Carbonite. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go into I'll go next, right? Um because that kicks off I Tie Fighter Pilot is no I, I don't have pictures. I'm sorry. I'm a very ill prepared, you know, but I don't have these figures anymore. But um Tie Fighter Pilot was was one figure from my childhood that I was just absolutely in love with and I had to have. I, I it's one that I really clamored for. That one, the it Emperor like go- blueberries. Yeah, <laughs> yours did. Um it's, so It's weird because yeah, mine smelled like blueberries. Nice. Now. Um and I'm it was with Chris made at the on same the... time as the strawberry shortcake figures. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I think so. <laughs> I remember those. And then it got molded next. <laughs> yep. Um, That's why some of your stuff smelled. Yeah. Oh. Mine also was the Imperial Let's Guard from uh, Return of the Jedi because it came, like, all the Star Wars movies came uh, out, out out around my birthday time. You know what I mean? And uh, one, the, the 1983, my mom put action figures in my lunch pail, backpack. To everything that was in oh, there so sweet. all throughout the day i was finding figures and that was like so like gamorian guard imperial guard but imperial guard because oh. all red was just so menacing gamorian and, guard i'm sorry is, yeah. a, is a uh it's a, yeah. an honorable mention too oh, oh, yeah. i think i got oh, re yeah. uh and you know all those figures back then um biker scout my favorite my favorite bike uh, you know stormtrooper yeah. besides the scarab trooper that one and um Buff Luke, 1995 Buff Luke. And the very exact same reason that Chris said. It was nostalgic. It brought us all back. It was the beginning of, like I said, I got the Star Wars Insider number one or number two, and it had a little article saying that Kenner is going to re-release the eight figures or nine (laughs) figures, and I was just like, my whole world changed from that, from then on. Um, Mine too. My number one figure I have right here. And this is oh, the 500, oh, the 500 figure, one. The yep. Darth yes. Vader with this helmet. And this yeah. is my, when I sold he, all my figures. Yeah, yeah. The helmet goes up and down. Oh. Um, he, no, he's saying open it up. No, no, no. no. <laughs> See, this is what I love packaging like this because you could do the gimmick yeah. in the back. Yeah, it, it, 100%. <laughs> Interactive. Right. 100%. So you're good. So oh, yeah, I, you sure can. I, did mm-hmm. keep, I sold all my collection a long time ago, my three and three quarters collection, but I did keep this one. Um just because it's amazing. It's awesome. And it's the 500th figure. So I still have that. And yeah, man. That has so, a place of honor on my display. Absolutely. And I don't yeah. have the heart to rip this open, not because I want to resell it or value wise. It's just for what Ernie said, the whole package is the figure. So yes. Um, yeah. yeah. And also before we sense. move on, I'll mention in the chat, uh, the force choke podcast fight his 500 figure, uh, 500 figure Boba Fett. Um, Let's see. Urban Spidey said uh, 2004 Attack of the Clones Sergeant is his. And he still has it to this day. It's a, and it's yellowed, of course. And that was what one of the major things that I said. If I was going to recollect today, I'm, I'm opening it because the yellowing of the packaging, I did not want to deal with. Um, that was always the worst. Yeah. And it's yeah. so funny because one would be perfect right next to you. Yeah. And the other looks like it's about to fall off the card. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, I mean, it's all thin and cracking. Right. Yeah, right. exactly. You're going to breathe on it and the figure is going to fall out. Right. But yeah, you have one, another one right next to it and it's fine. Right. Yeah, that you, like, that you nothing, bought earlier. Right. Yeah. That nothing ever happened. Right. It's like so the, uh, 
notoriously the vintage Return of the Jedi figures, the plastic they used in the bubble mm-hmm. was substandard. So all of my carded vintage uh, Return of the Jedi figures are all yellow. But Unfortunately, my stuff yeah. from yeah, but my stuff from Empire or Star Wars is still crystal gotcha. clear. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah it's, it's so the thing of the glue and the pla- and the plastic and oxygen. Yeah. But um, and then Gordon, stupid oxygen. Gordon also uh put down <laughs> that Empire Han Hoth was his. First ever three and three quarters figure, so that uh, of course that means a lot to him. Um, Joey. Okay. Mine's they're, they're not some of them are figures, some but mo- the majority of them are like vehicles, I guess. Mm-hmm. But my, okay. I'm gonna start off with my number five would be the Job of the Hut uh, three and three, the Job of the Hut set that first came out. Yeah. Yeah. So again, the Jedi stuff was dope. It, yeah, it was. yeah, that's the heyday of cl- that was the heyday of all star because it came with yeah. Salacious Crumb. It came with <laughs> yeah. his, yep. right, his right. I agree. So there's that. They there's... sold a hookah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So then uh, there's that. There's the ad at. Yeah, that's like one of my favorite toys of all time that my mom sold at yard sale for ten bucks. No, <laughs> no. I'm still pissed about that. You know, I think uh, Ernie has that. I think Ernie bought it. Driver, <laughs> yeah. The Ad Ad Driver is one of those figures too, right? Honorable mention. That's what I was again, about to say. Also, is the, the Driver yep. was my, one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Dope, dope um, figure. The Tauntaun with the open uh, belly. <laughs> right. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. That was my favorite. Well, that was yep. one of my favorites from my uh, my all time favorite. Even though it's it's not he's not played out, but obviously the first Darth Vader. With the vinyl, with the vinyl cape and the oh sure, last year that comes out and everything. So he was my number one favorite. Go awesome ahead. dude. He Eddie might make Vader, a reappearance right? in this conversation. Like, yeah. We had, does anybody have a count on how many Vader three and three quarter figures there have been made? Five hundred. It says the, the <laughs> five hundred. <laughs> yeah, but that, was, but that was like fifteen years ago. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Exactly, and, and the funny thing is, they've the the original vintage Vader. They made one, and they just remade that. It same just repackaged one figure it, correct, for, in a different package every yeah. year. It's like and they you can totally tell because a face just gets more distorted and distorted <laughs> and distorted as the copies went. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you're like, and the overall thing from all of Kenner into Hasbro, yeah, dude, Vader prob- probably the most besides Luke. Farm boy Luke, you know, but Vader's probably the oh. most reproduced figure of all time. I but think. Luke is the reason I quit collecting three and three quarter. Luke Farm is the boy absolute Luke, reason. to be exact. Same let's here. put it that Yes, yes, yes. Same you here. are not kidding. Yeah, I'm serious, you man. Can put after a hat the on seventh today version, and tomorrow we'll get the buy not. Uh, yeah. Yeah. After the seventh version, oh, I how many accessories? <laughs> my honorable mention is uh, yeah, the, the Rancor. Poncho. The Poncho That's version. My honorable yeah. Mention. yeah. Rancor is oh, definitely, nice. definitely. Very uh, nice. I would love a Black Series Rancor. Absolutely. You know what? I see amazing. Yeah. I did. Uh, I did play with the Wampa a lot. I didn't think about going yeah. to the to those figures. The yeah, Wampa features. was a big one yeah. for me because I would always smack the hell out of everybody. Yeah, had that <laughs> action. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it was supposed to. I think it was just rubber band inside. <laughs> and we made it. Yeah, the I don't think it was supposed broke. to be. When you twist yeah, it, it enough, supposed to be slappy. <laughs> Like the G.I. Joe figures, when you twist the rubber enough, yeah. they spin around and start smacking people. Gotcha. Yeah, the O-rings. And then you got to find a rubber band. You got to find the O-rings. And... Or then at school, <laughs> I would jack him from the people who had braces. Uh, oh, And I look yes. at them when, when yes. they smile. Those were the yes. best. Because they funny. didn't break after that. You could if do they a couple were smiling, of them and... yep, yep, and they had them on their desk, you sure as hell bet I t- turned around and stacked <laughs> so I was like, this is going for my quick kick. That's yep. awesome. This is for Destro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They wouldn't break. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And because it's a three and three quarter, and Scott opened it up, almost everything compares to a GI yes. Joe three and three. Quarter. Oh, because uh, that yes, yeah. is really what we grew up on. Yeah. Star Wars and Joe. Hundred yeah. percent. I think I think I'm still the oldest in the room. So yes, uh, GI. <laughs> I'm not gonna pass you at any point. Um, so yeah, you're you are the oldest in the room. If yeah. you do, if you do pass me, that means it's been a very bad day for me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, bad. don't. Okay, hey. Chris is gonna cry oh, again. Hey, See what happens. Yeah. <laughs> if I come on the show and say I'm older than it's Scott, been a bad day. You ready to cry? <laughs> it's been a bad. All day. right, Scott, you ready to hit mine up for me? Uh oh, uh yeah. Hang on one one moment. To put up one on the screen. If Scott I, permissions, I do have Scott permission. has permission. Yikes. Cool. Pressure. Well, that while he's doing, while he's doing that, I'll read some more honorable mentions here in the in the oh, chat. Okay. Uh, uh, Mando Mike has Gamorrean guard, biker scout, ATST driver, emperor, yes. and a Tie Fighter pilot. 
for the vintage collection, and I yes. agree with all those. I mean, it's so yep. hard pressed not to. Good list. Um, Urban Spidey has also an honorable mention of 2009 Commander Cody. Um, oh, we know we That's know funny. Urban Spidey, and he's a huge Clone Wars fan. So mm-hmm. I was sitting there. That was another honorable mention. Honorable mention was the uh, the Clone Wars Cody. Yeah, I like the, yeah. the Clone Wars. Um, Cody. And uh, also, uh, yes. You see, I had a whole bunch of crap out just looking around and stuff. I was like, oh, what do I want to talk about? Luke? <laughs> and also, uh, yeah, pulled all sorts of crap Chris out. Cliff wants to know which Cloud Car uh, character was actually the pilot of the Cloud Car. So The name? <laughs> no. Who's no, which, driving? Which, who's driving? Which Cloud Car pilot <laughs> was driving it? So. Oh, on the side? Well, I. Pro- oh. Exactly. They're both driving it. Right. I think. It's like. Uh, I would have to say the right side because that's where Han's cockpit seat is. So I would assume. There you go. Again, that's an assumption. We're in Bespin, <laughs> not on Corellia. So. Right. Yes, Scott, you have a question? All right. Uh, no, I was going to. Well, I do. Ernie? Yeah. Who's first? You you, you, you put uh, you put a <laughs> vehicle in there. Is that your number yes, one that's or is that one. your number Okay, then I need e- to go e- back. Yvonne e- e- Man is number five. Oh, so if you okay. want to put him up, I'll say it right before so you could get, so go you through. Just, you, you just did. Yeah, so my number All five, right. okay, so, like, yes, I had him as a kid, the whole retro stuff and everything, mm-hmm. and then, yes, Power of the Force really, like you said, got go. us all back and everything, but here, I, I mean, collecting everything forever, I had to go E-Font Man, one, awesome. because they had this thing going on as fans' choice, ah. and you you got to vote and, and pick, and, and it was in there, and this was the heaviest three and three quarters figure ever, ever made. made. <laughs> and the detail on it is amazing. Yeah. So when this came out and to see like this could be done in three and three quarter, um, you know, and he's he's a background part of, of Jabba's crew. Correct. And and that's where you see him. And the detail on this it is actually is great looking figure, man. Amazing. Dude, yeah. it's so heavy. Yeah. Right, Scott? Like, yeah, he's. Uh, I'm amazed that because I yes. kept one on the peg for yep. the longest time. So I'm amazed that that blister stayed yes. in place. Right. Too. I mean, they use serious glue, but Gorilla he's glue. he's in my barge. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> bad word for Ernie. <laughs> he's cool. yeah, that's that's a that's a great vibe. I, I, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That's excellent. It's it's so so good, so good. Okay, and so my number four is the Lucas family, Scott. I, well. I got to remember which button to hit because if I hit the wrong one, it's going to be a video of Mike waving. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Uh, The Lucas family. And so I know we're going like by figures, but still these are packs. I love the packs because of course you get more bang for your buck. And that's always what I was about and everything. Right. But here was one where Lucas and his family is now immortalized in figure form when they were in the prequels as their characters from his son to his oh, daughters. We're seeing this. We're, we're seeing the wrong one. Yeah, That's here. the Ralph McQuarrie. Okay. That's next. Yeah. There it there is. There we go. Yeah. So this was no, the Lucas. These are not in order. Oh. Sorry. So the Lucas family, you know, they, they got, and this is how they appeared in the God, movies. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't even know yeah. that existed. I, I mean, I either. Still that's this one. I, great. I didn't sell it. So oh, I yeah. see. Yeah. So that's <laughs> Lucas is right there on the end yeah. on the left. And then that's his son, and those are his two daughters. Jet, wasn't right. he like yep. Papa Goiter or something like? Yeah, that? Yeah, I can't remember the name that he actually yeah. went with. Papa because Papa. then there's there's Papa. two other figures uh, made of him after that, and yeah. one of them is my honorable mention. So okay, so next up is going into packs again because these were all beautiful. Was the Ralph McQuarrie, which you just there had up? Go. Gotcha. Okay. Now these were the artist right, renditions. Then. Of course, like we all know, Ralph Ralph McQuarrie, but yeah. they were single carded. They came out in coins, different with gold, different with silver. And then all of a sudden you had a Toys R Us exclusive where you can get a pack of all of them. Now, these are I some of my- I never knew this existed. I, I have the individual carded ones, but yes. I didn't know the set existed. That's awesome. this, is, this is Toys R Us back in the day. And <laughs> it, it's awesome because you also got um, the some that were exclusive. In the packs. Yeah. There was two and they showed up there and then they were gone. But this is basically the whole set. Um, this was everybody who came out and it's just, it's great. I mean, you, you, yeah, you have his art in figure form. Yeah. Wasn't Luke, yeah, Luke awesome. was a uh, celebration exclusive, right? Mm-hmm. 
And then the Yoda and Obi Wan two yes. pack and the R two and C three PO two pack were both uh, San Diego exclusives, yes. right? Right. Yes. Yeah. So what a great set! I wouldn't great mind these choice. for a Black Series. I know they did the Boba Fett, but let's do them yeah. all. They did. A, they're they're doing these all in pop. On pop, That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. They, so I, I have yeah. I have the 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 three PO and the R two are on pre order right now. I've yeah. got the Vader, the Fett, the Luke, or mm-hmm. well, the Scar Killer. And then whatever the hell else. But, Do you uh, realize that it's, it, awesome. it's like Fennec Shand has the helmet of the Rebel Trooper? Absolutely. Of the Rebel. Yeah. That's all John. He that. uses yeah. so That's much. Cool. Yeah. Um, in yeah. the show, and yes, you're right. There's the perfect example. And yeah. then next up is another exclusive pack, and this was the Republic um, Elite Commandos, which were the Man- Mandalorian figures. Now, I saw the Ralph McQuarrie uh, figures. I never got them, but then. This Republic Elite figures, I never got them either. They were always gone. Oh. And this was all Mandalorian figures. And I absolutely love them. They, cool. they were two different sets, the top and the bottom. Um, so you were looking at around uh, $70 per set, which is not bad. And now they're oh. upwards into the 500 range. Wow. Yeah. And Pretty these cool. were awesome. As you can see, the clone troopers, they have the uh, Bantha Skull on them. The yep. mythosaur skull. Right. Um, and then uh, you have all different characters that went around into background stories and everything. And to me, it was just like, oh, my God, there's Mandalorians out there. Yeah. A couple of female Mandalorians, yes. too. That's cool. So Yeah. Oh, man. Where was the outrage on the boot? <laughs> yeah. No, there, there exactly. wasn't. I mean, right? you, you had two female bodies. Right. And, and Mando. A- Whoa. Yeah, so these were these were great. Huh. Very, very yeah, hard. These are, these are dope. Um, yeah, these are cool. Still part of my someday list. You know what I mean? Those are awesome. Because the boxing was cool. The boxes, mm-hmm. um, oh my God, were just oh, beautiful. Man. Full that, view that... window, just like you saw the Ralph McQuarrie, but then it had the Mythoscore ha- half yeah. on it at the end. And if so, if you put them together, it created one long thing. It, uh, beautiful. 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 Awesome. That, uh, That's awesome. The one on top is making me want to get some Jodo cast stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's they're they're freaking awesome, man. Yeah. And like I said, they were only sixty five bucks. And that they're that middle bucks. one, I mean, not that you can tell from here. It looks like the helmet comes off. Who's under there? It's like just random figureheads, or yeah, they had um they had faces. That's they awesome. they came and then they they reused them, I believe. Right, Scott, in the comic packs. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Some yes. of them. Yeah. Yes. And then my number one, so. The Ralph McQuarrie, I, I couldn't obtain. I always missed it. I saw them, but didn't have the cash. I never saw these. I was always too late. And then my number one still that bites me in the ass every day is this Slave One Target Boba Fett. I had it in the cart. And at that time, the ex-wife, now I'm so happy to say that, <laughs> told, me, told me no. Wow. I could not get it. And I was like, I put it back and I was just like, okay. And I never saw it again. Wow. This was a Target exclusive. You have him in full pose. The Slave One was nicely done in this. I mean, look at the package. Yeah. To, yeah. to a collector like me, this is always what it's about. Yeah. Just it, everything like that. No, that's How gross. much is that going for now, Ernie? Oh, uh, t- too much. <laughs> I, I think this is three or four, I believe. Wow. So, yeah. On, on this, okay, now it's been a while since I've had a, a Slave One. Yeah. Right. Is that the same scale as all the Slave Ones? We have different slave ones. This was to the one of the earlier ones. This is a smaller one. Yeah, it looks he, small. He, yeah. Yes, okay, he can sit smaller. in there. Um, the later ones that came out is the is the bigger one, the, the fuller one. Um, but these were usually all small. Um, I, they used it for um, Shadows. They used it for uh, Episode 1, Django's. That small rectangle box, almost like a shoe box. That's, that's yeah. this one. But this was more in okay. a weird shape. It had a top view window. So you could see all of Slave One, even from the top. You had the side windows. It, oh, this is just beautiful. And they did a few vehicles in that packaging, uh-huh. like an X-Wing fighter yes. that was co- Luke's X-Wing that was covered in moss. and Still and a Target slime. exclusive. Yeah. 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 So this was, this is like, you know, it. And I straight had it at the bottom of the cart, and then I was told no, and then I cried. <laughs> and I, you can still hear me crying sometimes. Sometimes. Mm-hmm. And my honorable That's mention... Awesome. Is the mail away George Lucas Stormtrooper? I did it right. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, this was so cool yeah. because it was George. His head is beautifully done. 
Um, he's in Star Trooper. It came in a star case already. Yep. Um, we were back to the mail aways. If you remember, the first one was Han Storm Trooper from Kellogg's. Right. Yep. And then this one came out with your UPCs and everything, and just an amazing figure. Um, just I remember awesome. I remember because uh, it came out at celeb like 2010, correct? Like because I remember going to Celebration of Florida and during the John Stewart, George Lucas uh, presentation at the the, uh, the main event, they presented George Lucas with this figure. Like they gave it to That's him awesome. then, yeah. 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 Right. And then later at another uh, celebration was the George Sakul. Yeah. Uh, backwards and he was X-wing correct. fighter pilot. X- X-wing pilot. Yeah. Yeah. And so that cool. was cool. But this one was my favorite because I mean, you know, just lifting off a regular stormtrooper helmet and there's George. Like that's that's awesome. I I wish this would come back in black series form. I I love your list because it's so different than it anything is. I would have ever come up with. Right? And is. I love yours because uh, your your background to it was correct. I love everybody's. This was you didn't uh, love mine. This is neat. This yeah. was I, I said did. I loved everybody. Well, I did. Joey's was yeah, child for meaningful. Yours was quick on the fly. I, I love it. That was, <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of <laughs> awesome. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Um, no, no. You know how? You know what? I'm actually kind of upset. None of it. None of us. And I should. I should have been the one to do it. Really. What? The, the shadows set. You said it right there. But the shadows, right? The shadows whole set was awesome. Oh, shadows the empire. Uh, the yeah. Had, yeah. Mm-hmm. The fact that we had yes, a early uh, a, ser- a series of, of figures from a book, from a video game and a book back then it, it early. was neat. That was new so us, early. You know? Dash Rendar, yeah. um, the Wookiee one, She's or, the two uh, packs yes. with the comics. I the mean, two, I think started it right. Yeah, I, I did have the Chewie here just to just to have oh, it as a space we talked about it. But I love that set. The Lucas and Imperial got yeah. The whole thing was cool. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'm, I'm surprised we didn't talk about that at all, but I want to talk about it now. Hey, hang on, I Shadows. think just, that's just, some, just, just one second. Just, just one second. I think this needs to be shared just because. <laughs> Aw. Uh, don't we miss Mikey? There goes Aww. Mike. He's working. There's Mike. Oh, <laughs> Mike. We're going to have to have a, like a little animated Mike in the corner. We have to do that. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need a Mike <laughs> gift. Just stairs? Yeah, that'd be awesome. That's yeah. fantastic. Oh, just waves. <laughs> all right, take that. it off. Just, that's enough, Mike. That's more Mike than we've had in the last. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> yeah, the Shadows of the Empire. You're right, Chris. That was just uh, man, N- Nintendo 64 game. Yeah, man. Um, just still hard. And it came out right in the the bit of that 95 to 99. Yes. Um, Power of the Forest set. So it was it was all matching, right? Yeah. It had purple now. And then, like you said, the two pack. Oh yeah, one yeah. Of the them, com- comic packs. One of them was Boba Fett versus IG88. Right, oh, right. Yes, awesome. that was the first Shizor Invader. Boba Fett we got. Awesome. Right, yeah. yeah. That- and it was the Empire Vader compared to the yeah. Return of the Jedi Vader. Yes, and that's what we're missing right now with High Republic. I think. I, I do think. I think once they hit the collectibles and everything else mm. to kind of mix it in, it'll get everybody else into it. Yeah. Most of us mm. learned about most of these characters from the toys. And right? that's what yes. uh, uh, Adam just somebody. brought up in the chat. Mm-hmm. This is exactly that who he misses, oh, and he loves exploring the toys because you get lore out of it, and you get um, mm-hmm. background characters. We learned all the alien races from the toys. You know what I mean? Like mo- yep. um, 99% well, we learned their it. names and about them. We didn't like Hammerhead. Didn't have a name when we were kids. No, it was just Hammerhead. And he, got, he had Hammerhead, a name. Mama one, eight, right. Exactly. That's when we learned it. <laughs> we learned that name from the power of the forest. Right, right, right. So I guess, right. yeah, you're right. right. So, All right. Scott, you're going to end turn. it with your list. All right. Since I'm, I'm ancient and well, uh, it was actually, a, I remember a time before Star Wars. So oh, sad. So that's so horrible. Sad. Right. right? <laughs> I grew up with I grew up with Mego dolls. So I had a Batman and Robin Mego doll. How so old weird. does that make me? What's a Mego? Uh, I know. I'm the just eight kidding. inch. The Mego. Oh, I'm all I'm the eight inch that were fully clothed. <laughs> Going uh, now into toy standards. So my number five is Bespin Luke. And the reason why it is my number five is it, it is my um, it's my favorite look for Luke. Right. And whenever this figure was released, it was just badass because he had his lightsaber on his hip. He had he, he was not wearing white like he always did. It was right. just a really cool figure. Awesome. And, uh, you know, he came with a wrong colored lightsaber. You know what's funny about <laughs> that's that? That's right. A yellow lightsaber. Yeah, right? that, that's that's your favorite Luke. My favorite Luke was the uh, dark robe. Luke. Yeah. 
the no, Jedi, Jedi, Jedi again, Jedi, Luke, yeah. which is weird because it's so far down my list of movies. You would think it'd be higher since all my favorites are coming from there, right? Shuttles and figures and things, right? Yeah. So that, so I was, I said that to say this: I lost my uh, Jedi Knight Luke, and I used a black magic marker and fixed that one. <laughs> Did you really? You painted it. In. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. You got to do what you got to do, man. With hand and all, I <laughs> got his glove on and everything. I nice. was all into the details. It was my first custom. Yeah. My first custom. <laughs> That's great. Uh, That's why, do we ever figure out, well, you guys are the toy guys, do we ever figure out why the different color lightsabers, there's obviously not a yellow lightsaber. Right. Why I, they use yellow. I never, I never actually much. thought about it. I just, I'll, I'll have to look into it and see if there's an I explanation. I remember watching something How they, is that they not? talked about it, why it came out yellow. It was like, oh man. Yeah, like, they, I think it was like pre-movie. They made it. I guess it was like a pre-movie type thing. Well, that's what I heard. The, but the, even the, by Empire Strikes Back, they would have known. Yeah, that yeah that's it. By then, I, I got yeah. that for Vader and original Luke. But when he has it in his hand, there, I don't but get it. As a company, you know? as a company, you keep everything you do so that you don't waste more money. Yeah. So, right. however. However, the first Luke had the telescoping <laughs> yes. lightsaber. Yeah. This was completely detached. Yeah. There's, there's. There's no reason they couldn't. They were doing the same colors and everything. And then it's like Joey had said, uh, theirs came from, I mean, we're in days before social media or anything. Yeah. Theirs came from picture scene and they actually saw white sticks and then they were told no with white. And then it was supposed to be this. So you're getting a telephone game all the way down to the guy who's making it. Who's just like, fine, I'll do yellow. Right. I guess back then they weren't as caring. Right. I mean, most of the weapons were just straight gray. You know, yeah. I mean, I think they're not black now right. or whatever. Or hip, but, you know the, what I mean? It's the same it was, you don't have no designs on the hilts or anything, yeah, you know, back right. then. It was just simplicity. It was a stick. It was a yeah. stick. It, it, even go, it, it even has a crossbar. My favorite too. Yeah. yeah. Or it was the Mandela yeah. effect, and he really did have a yellow saber <laughs> in one universe. Oh, stop it. <laughs> the only thing I know is the, the, the 3PO leg. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So my number four is Bespin Han Solo. Uh, there you, I see it. I sense a theme. Yeah, best movie. Uh, the, is well, great. it's yeah. well, you are they're, Scott they're, Solo, and that's how we one. were introduced to you. And you have that outfit, don't you? <laughs> exactly, I have this yeah. outfit, this outfit. Um, but even whenever I was a kid, though, it was just cool because it looked like he was wearing a black leather jacket, even though it's blue. Right, it looked like he was wearing a black leather jacket. You know, he just looked like a badass. Right, and right. I, you know, it's You're Han not Solo. wrong. Fix that yeah. with a marker. <laughs> I, you know what? My original one that I grew up as a kid, I did. I painted it black. I painted his See? boots black. I painted his. Someone uh, out there has that in their little collection and be like, <laughs> Kenner this, made some one. Some bastard painted yeah. ass. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. 1980 custom Han. <laughs> you know what? Now that you guys say that, I remember in elementary school, I went to school yep. with pieces of tape on the side of my on the side of my pants, imitating that whole thing with the... The blood stripes. Oh, the blood stripes. Stri- <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Nice. With my corduroys. <laughs> That's right. awesome. I would run around with the fake lawn, Han gun around the little, we would live in an apartment complex, and I would run around yelling, ah! You know, like, <laughs> running in the corner? Chase yes. me, chase um, me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. nobody that's would. different. Bastards. Yeah. Uh, okay, so my uh, number three is actually a very modern vintage collection figure, and it is Mr. Hondo Onaka. Nice. Oh, great and tell us why. Character. This Freaking would be... love Hondo Onaka. Okay. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So, yeah, I mean, he's it just a, it's a great character. Figure. Straight out of yeah, great figure. Straight out of you know Clone Wars, and this is actually the uh, this is actually the Galaxy's Edge version of him too. So he's slightly older in the whole bit, but it, awesome. it's just a great. They don't have another you, version, right? That's so. that's the only one they came out with, correct? No, they did. No, they've they've got a Clone yeah. Wars version. Oh, that they comes. They do. Uh, oh, monkey okay. on his shoulder. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Did you ever Good catch the out. audio the audio kids book? Of Hondo, the Pirates play price or something like that. No, you ever catch that, Scott? Do no, it. I didn't. Yeah, do yourself a favor, everybody on here. Do yourself a favor and do that. It's a kid's book, but it's narrated by. Oh, him. I'm in. Awesome. I'm in. That's cool. Jim, Jim Cummings does. Jim Cummings does it. So it's like so awesome. It's such a little kid. That's awesome. Book, but it's Hondo. But though. it's so yeah. rad. And it's and he's yeah. I just it's so great. And he's mocking Han. It's it's just. I love the fact that he's also the voice of Eeyore. I mean, (laughs) you you don't get any better than the voice of Eeyore being Hondo Onaka. Winnie the the, exactly. Yeah, Yeah. he's he's awesome. He's a bunch of cool stuff on like Nick and stuff. I don't watch that. Sure. All I care about is Hondo. So uh, my number two action figure uh, is going back all the way to 1978. He was my very first three and three quarter inch action figure. 
Greedo. Awesome. Nice. So, Did you get right the six-inch version? Straight up nostalgia. Yep. Yeah, I pre-ordered it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have pre-ordered it. I, yeah. Uh, yeah, so this this is the very first figure I ever got. There's awesome. just something cool about the eyes on them and everything. Mm-hmm. Now, let me ask you, Scott, is that... Yeah. Is that from your childhood or is that did you rebuy that? Like are these are these I had from to rebuy your... this one. Okay. Okay. Uh yeah, and all of these have been those were played with to death. Yeah. And yeah. I was gonna say, do any of us really have any of the old I don't ones? I have nothing. Yes, the originals. My Bib Fortuna do? is still original. I have one wow. Yoda that's unopened. That was yours? Mm-hmm. And Empire Strikes Back. Wow. You've got, wait, you've got... you do? You have some of your toy ones? Your originals? Yeah. Oh. I have uh, Stormtroopers. Boot, you've wow. got a you've got a vintage Yoda yeah. still on a card back. Uh oh, there he goes. He's getting it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll go get mine. We can compare. Oh man. Oh, that's exciting. How fun. That is exciting. Nice. Yes. Stop it. I love it. Turn over. Let's see the other side. Oh, I. You What's know your what? Back? Nice. That's a that's 32, 32 back. 32 back. Yeah. Yeah. That's a 32 back. It's the exact same one I've got. <laughs> I know. Very Bunch nice. Oh, so, it's, a, it's a 32 so what, back. What we're saying uh, is here. on the back of it, Chris, <laughs> is showing you what was to come. And there, right. well, there's different ones out there. That's how you tell with them. And 32 back oh, yeah. was one. That's the exact uh, one. Just hearing got. you both do it, that was so awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, it's a 32 back. Uh, the only reason I, I, I asked <laughs> about the, the I asked about the childhood because I know Mando Mike in the chat. Uh, all his stuff is from his childhood. Like they're, yeah. you know, he kept those. He didn't wow. rebuy those. And I, I don't know a lot nope. of people that have kept their collection. No. Now, yeah. I, I probably do this to every figure that comes up, but that figure that he just showed, yeah. that should be in mm-hmm. there too on anybody's top. And that's a, because for, that that Yoda, that Yoda was dope. Yeah. I love just how his head moved. And it that's a like brown snake too, side, right? Or the the orange snake? No, that was orange. Yeah, orange snake. The orange snake. I, I said he had the cloth robes, yes. and it was Yoda. You can open it because orange snake. Yeah, yeah, I that was a really good figure for the time. Awesome, awesome. And my number one is the vintage yes, Darth Vader figure. Of course. Mm-hmm. Of course. For obvious I reasons. Just, I mean, I love it. <laughs> yeah, for obvious reasons. He's got the telescoping lightsaber. lightsaber. Not yeah. to doubt. I do have a del- double telescoping Luke figure, but that one never leaves the toy room. Yeah. You know, so, you know. <laughs> and, uh, but, yeah, so, again, Scott, <laughs> Scott, for those who don't know, tell them what you mean by that. Double telescoping means, okay, first telescope is whenever the lightsaber itself extends from the arm. Right. The double telescoping is the the very small, I'm going to play with just the tip here, yeah, would also uh, yeah. pull out. <laughs> and, and, exactly. And it'd be mm-hmm. about that long. So when so you it, pull on the tip, were, it gets the, longer. Yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. And, and you're, you're considered right. worth and more then. I, I, it happens. I mean, yes. correct. You know. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, now you need it. <laughs> Yeah. Damn society. Right. Sorry, back, back, back. Right. So we we were talking about how many versions of Darth Vader there have been. This version was the very first version, of course, and this one is the latest version, the Rogue <laughs> One style. Yeah, I got that one. So I there hasn't been one. a newer Vader, or is that that came out way after Rogue One, I assume, or did that come out during uh, Rogue One? This one came out like two months ago. Yeah. Oh, okay, oh, wow. okay. It just has the topping. Okay, gotcha. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, okay, that's a fantastic looking card too. It is. Yeah, yeah. It's really, uh, I love that. Uh, yeah. That's, that's yeah. Awesome. See, which is why I like so much that they've done that with the the Black Series ones on the Kenner cards. Right, like, right. That's, Makes sense, what, right? You know, yeah. Everything that you guys have showed, you know, we have Vader that came with the 12 back first. You got Yoda done in that one. Like, and now they're doing the Kenner colors. You see? Yeah. So. Biker Scout. Nice. Yay. Right. Yeah. They're, they're awesome. Damn. I know. Yeah, I got all that cool stuff. I just I have Adam Irvin Spidey has OG figures Darth because Vader? his dad Darth gave Darth him Maul? the Darth Vader case of OGs. Nice. Wow. That's passed nice. down. And I hope you still have those men to hand off to your son. Yeah. That would be so Chris, cool. Chris, you got the Darth Vader oh. case, right? Oh, hold on. Did you say Adam? <laughs> I was a kid. I was, I was stuck on that. <laughs> Adam's, well, a, Adam's a kid. Yeah. Come on. Adam's he like is. As old as my kid. He don't even be talking about having a son. He's a kid. <laughs> He's as old as my kid. Double wrap kid. that, Adam. No kids for you. That's right. Keep your oh, Star no, Wars no, collection to yourself. No, I said someday. Mm-hmm. Someday. Ah, yeah. Someday to give to his son, I hope. <laughs> That's funny. Unlike my children who see it everywhere and don't give a damn about Star That's Wars. That's what I'm saying. By the time I, I'm ready to give my Star Wars collection to my kid, he's, he'd be old, he's like he'd be 80 years old. <laughs> right. 
No, none of mine. Mine's none... are going with me and my coffee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Actually, you're gonna have to sell them to bury me with. So, uh, you know. Yeah, because we're just is. gonna get sold when I die. I'm gonna <laughs> eat a big damn coffee. At least don't sell one of my bobas and at least throw it in there with me. Okay? That's yeah. I, I told yeah. my kids they get all my stuff and they're like, oh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you would it. think now, you'd see them fighting over it. Oh, I'm the heir to your empire. That's your empire. Uh, so right. <laughs> Julie told me that we're having a Viking funeral for me. So there she's going to pile all my crap on she's a She's going to burn the house down, actually, because you can't get that stuff out arrow. of your house. <laughs> no. That's the way to do, shoot an arrow. That's right. It'll take you me can't 37 get, arrows yeah. to get near yeah, you. Yeah, so I'm saying, you can't get that out of your house, Scott. We'll just burn it right where you lay. Just burn the house down. <laughs> it's it's easy. Go in the Star Wars room. And then on a pi- on a pyre right on top of the flag, the USS flag. There we go. Yep. That's hilarious. Um, this was a lot of fun, guys. I mean, it going was. back and, and revisiting some of these things because again, the figures and collecting Star Wars collecting always brings back a lot of nostalgia and it's part of being a Star Wars fan. You know what I mean? I don't I don't know a lot of Star Wars fans that do not collect something. You know, oh, we yeah. did a little bit. Yeah, we did three and three quarters figures because that was basically the first collectible. Um, but I'm, I'm anxious to do this again on some other level. It could be, Man, you know, so next week's story time. What do we do after? Yeah, story? I mean, we'll have to talk about this and give yeah, hey, chat anything cool. Maybe we'll put a poll. Yeah, maybe we'll put a poll in our our uh, you know uh, in the group Facebook, Facebook Central group? there. Yeah, I mean to yeah. to kind of get people in there. Maybe put a poll in there on the top five list of something, um, and we'll go from there. So yeah, that just became like our favorite segment. Uh, it's fun <laughs> because again, it bring like I said, it brings back a lot, a lot of things and. Um, visiting your guys' collections. And I, I, I've been to Mando Mike's house, and it's freaking amazing. Um, you know, like I said, very nostalgic. He's got every single Black Series, he, and his vintage collection is impressive. Scott's room is impressive, like more than impressive. <laughs> you know, Ernie's, Ernie's house, house is Ernie's more than house. house is impressive. <laughs> you know, I haven't been to Joey's, but you know, the stuff that he shows and he takes pictures of and everything, it's amazing. And, and, and Chris does the pops, and it's, it's, just, it's awesome. I love it. it it's so cool. Um, it is fine. You're, and you, you remember, you're like, oh, I have these unleashed statues, and that's all I'm going to do. Exactly. I yeah, started yes. with, I'm going to, it has to be like right. a documentary, right? It started with one. I and remember, was, yeah, then we <laughs> broke him when we bought him that you, one for his birthday. You broke yeah. me. They bought me my first, the Darth Vader 40th anniversary, Darth Vader, and. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And right. I, that's when the Black Series Madness started. I <laughs> put him on the shelf, and I looked, and I sat back and go, he needs more. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so when was that, fellas? You, you the guys, fortieth anniversary of it was. Oh, like our, was it the fortieth? Like oh, first, first, never mind. I think it was like our first twenty seventeen episode, wasn't it? It was. It at, was close. It was our. It, well, I don't think was Scott with us then. Uh, no. So it had so to be early, early 2017. Then. It was like a first yeah, was. couple of episodes. Yeah, it was. And that's when yeah, I started collecting pops then, too. If we were all doing that, yeah. I hardly had any pops. Exactly. Right. Only, I, I had like 15 or 20, maybe. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big maybe. Yeah. yeah. It might have just been a couple of imps. Yeah, uh, you Ernie, went, Ernie you... jump started my collection again because I only mm-hmm. had, before, right. before I met stuff. Ernie, I only had a couple of vintage uh, Voltron figures, um, a couple of my, yeah. my vintage Star Wars ones, but. Don't get me started After on others. That, he just <laughs> created a monster. <laughs> Don't get me started on others than other things well, than Star Wars. It, yeah. That's the thing with Star Wars, right? When you, well, I guess everything when we're collectors. But yeah. when yes. you start talking about it, you're like, oh, I love it so much. And you see something that reminds you of it. And you just want to keep that little piece of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? And that's what the, it is. It could be six-inch black series, three and three quarters, or these pops or shirts or books or whatever. It doesn't have to be all the stuff that everybody collects. We all collect a little differently. Correct. Right? Look at those yeah, things correct. behind Scott. I'm never touching that stuff behind Scott. That's high end. Yeah. Stuff. There's no <laughs> way, dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, those are 10 bucks. Right. Except at jars. least. Right. Yeah, even when least. I started, yeah. even when I started with Ernie, I was like telling myself, I vowed only to collect <laughs> Vader stuff. That was right. Yeah. yeah. So then, then I started clicking a little bit like, well, I can't, I got to have at least some other like rebel stuff. Right. And then Josh goes and says, Hey, did you know that they still got Godzilla figures too? And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then it just exploded from there. Right. That's, See, that's and I was just going to get Vader. Yeah. The imps. Then and anybody it, with a lightsaber. Then the droids. This now, is the way. Uh, every version. Yeah. The way I collect, uh, Marco and I, last year, we went to Disneyland together and we're walking through by the Indiana Jones store and they've got those crappy Indiana Jones action figures. <laughs> yes. And they were on clearance. So I, I grabbed one and I'm like, man, I really like this. I, I miss Indiana Jones figures. 
And it's been, what, a little over a year, and I've got a complete Indiana Jones Yeah, collection. <laughs> next thing you know. <laughs> I don't stop. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I, the, yeah. I'm the same way, right? You saw it yeah. this weekend like, it, it, when we went to Target, yeah. and he showed me the new Transformers, the Studio Series 86 series. And, and everybody knows me. I love Transformers, but I love the movie more than anything. Yeah. 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 And um, Scott put Hot Rod it, back on the soundtrack. shelf, and I picked him up and it went home and ordered all the whole wave. So. <laughs> Yeah, the whole yeah, wave. The whole wave is coming. Yeah, you guys the are welcome. Wave. No problem. <laughs> I, I but here's the thing, guys. I love it. Like I can eat. I, I can eat to. my money, or I can put it on the shelf. And that dude, yeah. if everything I buy brings me just a little bit of happy. Yeah, yeah, that's, right. Yeah, that's Every time. And, 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 I, and, and that's what it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When I order it, I'm happy. And when I get it, I'm happy. And when I touch it, I'm happy. Yeah, Gordon. Ah. Even that like, was a whole different subject. The third one. Bro, yeah, some yeah. some some people drink it away. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, smoke it away. I mean, mm-hmm. look at the price of cigarettes nowadays. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, oh, cigarettes, right? Right. Um, and then <laughs> my, my wife smokes. You know, I mean, sports <laughs> memorabilia is crazy. Yeah. Like I have some friends who pay like eight hundred dollars for jerseys and everything. Yeah. And they always look at me like, "Oh wow, how much are you gonna pay for that?" And I'm like, "I don't." And I was twenty bucks. Right. Like right. you just <laughs> dropped eight hundred on a jersey. Wow. Okay. Do you know how many both. pops I could have for eight hundred bucks? Right, <laughs> Ernie. Why do you hang them on your wall and have them all over your house? I don't know because I just that's how I like it. That's how it's I present amazing. it. Amazing. <laughs> if I get a chance, and I'll buy one open. Right. Yeah. So you're gonna wear your eight hundred dollar jersey? Right. No way. Right. Yeah. Oh, there you go. And you and, know how many times I told myself I'm gonna fix up because I have a fifty five Bel Air. Yeah. I, I don't know how many times I told myself I'm gonna start working on this car. I'm gonna start buying parts for it. I'm gonna start buying you know everything for it. The Godzilla happens. And then here comes <laughs> Star Wars stuff, Godzilla stuff. And I'm yeah, like, oh, yeah. let's got the wait. But there will I be do that same thing with the electric bill. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I could pay the bill. I could pay pay Frontier for my phone and internet, or I could buy a couple pops. Or there think, will be a time, yeah. Joe, though, where that's gonna slow down, and then the car will be next. Yeah, it, it will just you know. Yeah. It, it, Everybody has it. I don't collect anymore like I used to. Like I tell you guys, right, right. I just pick and choose now. Of, right. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Okay, yeah. yeah, I saw it. It's on sale. I pick and choose too, but the fact the the problem is I pick everything and I choose yeah. everything. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you went ghost Ghostbuster nuts, horror yeah. nuts. You got completely. Right. I don't Star pick Wars and choose. Crazy. Yeah, the toys yeah. choose me. I fell off <laughs> the. Yeah, exactly. I, they're Speaking calling my of, name. of Joey and Marco, Joey first. Did you put in your order for the figure arts uh, Godzilla and King Kong? Come on, man. You know me. Yeah, okay, Joey good. did. I did. And then Marco, did you see that NECA is bringing out Universal Monsters? I did. Frankenstein? I did, yes. and I'm all over it. All over it. And that looks beautiful, Scott, but it really yeah. pisses me off that it's not I know, for right? the figures. Oh, that, you, could, you could probably put the figures inside. You could probably show no, them inside. No, that it doesn't tick you don't me think? off because I thought it was, and then I opened it up today, and I'm like, wait a oh, minute. Oh, you no, didn't know? Scott. Oh, I didn't know. It's even, not to six inch mm-hmm. scale. Yeah, but even it's still yep. really beautiful. Now. It is beautiful. It, it's like that slave one to Boba Fett. Right. Yes. It, it's it, just it, a little bit too small, right? But it looks cool. You just have to <laughs> cut them off halfway through and grab yeah. them in. Yeah. Hey, yeah. no, by the way, when you were doing the slave one thing, that's that's what I wanted to say. That's the next Haslab I want. I they, why like wouldn't they do with a gyro inside slave one? Like I mean, a big ass turn, slave one. Yeah. I mean, time. yeah. Uh, it's, it's yeah. I, I yeah, geez, they, yeah. They need to do this is your fault. Marco, it, it's it's amazing. See? I don't care. You Our put fault. the figures on the outside, and they're amazing. And so yeah, you got to yeah, get the figures. That's true, yes. Scott, you got to get the figures to encompass the entire vision. Don't fold okay. your arms at me. Let's do this, man. <laughs> and you need the rooftop <laughs> set up and everything, like Marco. And you has. need the rooftop hey. set up. <laughs> nope. Everyone in this room has some kind of some kind of hand in everyone's addiction in here. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, oh, we're all enablers, dude. We're yeah. yes. chat yeah. room has been enablers all night. We're enabling the chat room. Yeah, um, well, your fault. yeah we <laughs> the only I, thing I've done is the books and Marco's buying the books. And I'm buying the <laughs> right. <He's got laughs> I gotta blame Chris on that because I never would buy books. I wanted yeah. the Jedi I'm archive, reading. so I you know. <laughs> Hey man. Oh, okay, who else could I get did into you, legacy did you, your, uh, did you load back up on your Bane books for millions of dollars? No, I I um I exactly. I got all 3 and I told you I, I spent like 30 bucks on all 3. Uh I I'm sure okay. I outbid maybe you bid it did on Did you go hard or so, you went soft cover, right? Oh uh, no, all, all hard, hard cover. You go, shut hard, the f up. Yeah, Where? all hard cover on, on, on eBay. eBay. Mhm. I I'll, hey. I will I will send you the links to it. I like I said I was bidding on the it's first one on Rule of 2. I was bidding. So I put like 
I think I bought it for like ten dollars. That was the most expensive. Like oh, you bid on that one. Oh, I was the other pretend- two. I bought. Yeah, I was I didn't buy it. Now. I, I blindly <laughs> bought the other two, and they came in like you, like yours, like really pristine. You know. Oh and yeah. And it was really cool. Sharp. I have one book, and I think it's Alliances, and it says and it's stamped on there, Amityville Library. So I'm like. Oh, for real? Oh, that's sweet. So, it was like made for you, dude. Oh, that's dude. what I was going to say. Did it freak you out? The after? book is haunted, I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. Like, at <laughs> two in the morning, Amity, wait a second. Get out. <laughs> Did yeah. you have a drop down where you got to pick your library? Like, you're like, oh, I want, I want that stamp. If it was, I would. But no, it came in yeah. that way, and I looked at it and said, oh, that's this awesome. is great. That's wow. Awesome. This is great. That's Amityville funny. Library. That's perfect. But yeah, dude. See, but that's just a fun collection. That's just it us is. being collectors, yeah. honestly, because I've gone through these books a thousand times yeah. already. It's just a matter of I want them back in my collection. I got rid of them a long time ago. Yeah. You know, when you're younger and you're and you're coming up through stuff, you you need money. You get rid of mm-hmm. things. You have you need space. Absolutely. You, get, you know, the, I bought a house, got rid of my figures so I could buy right. the TV and the furniture and all that stuff, you know? So got rid of my books to get space because I didn't need it. Didn't have an office at the time. Right. You know? All that stuff had to go. And then audio, you know, right? Now like, it's a matter of like, and, and and they were all and I use audio now, but I was only. Hey, do any of you guys have the read alongs with the cassette tapes? I did absolutely. I had the records, no, the little thirty fives. Like right yeah, I had the oh, records. Not right now. Do you have them right now? No, I'm looking. Oh, I'm actually. Looking. That would, I would I would love a hoojib. Yes. I, I would love a yeah a hoojib. We were talking the pop up books last week, and I can get the pop up books for like twelve bucks a pop a, a pop, huh? On oh, eBay. Whoa. There, you open you open up the eBay auction and said, "Look at the pictures." And one of the pictures was was the Exegorth slug that we were talking about. Was right, it working? Right. Nice. Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, and you didn't just buy it for ten bucks? I didn't. My goodness, oh, we would have. One of us would have bought I'm it from going, you. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys have any of the books? And yeah, like, Chris my is friends, on eBay right now. <laughs> my friends would trip out like so bad. I have this little brown box that took C batteries. And my books had blue little records inside. Mm. And then you put it on top of it and you press the button oh and it would read God, you the story because it was a tiny record player. Huh. And it had the speaker built in. None of you guys had no, that? No, I didn't have that. I remember, no. yeah. so I remember something like that. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So my friends would trip out when they would come over and be like, yo, what is that? And I was like, like, I had a whole bunch. Yeah. There was Disney cartoons. There was a, huh. a Star Wars one. No, I, I did have the read-alongs. I never had something best. like that, though. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I don't even know what it was called. I, I, I you couldn't hear the even... chime, turn the page. Right. Yeah, I couldn't well, even tell you. And then you I take had off Temple the of box. Doom. Did you? I had Temple oh, of Doom. Oh, that one, yeah. yeah, that was... I like that when it changed up and they'd give you a sound from the movie. Yes. Or yeah. the sound from something, you know what R2-D2. I mean? Then, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Well, let's... Oh, this is the one. <laughs> Did you get it? Did Chris you... found it. <laughs> Chris found yeah, it? Yeah, the same book when I was a kid. I had that. Oh, it's going into the archives. Which one? Yeah. See, look at it. This there is it is. is. This is a different one. This is just the Empire Strikes Back one, but it's a little kid one where Luke had to... You had to... You can't see that. Oh, yeah. But he, had to, <laughs> he, has, he has to pull over the lightsaber with the pull string. Yeah. The, everything but the Exegorth, to be honest. That's the, awesome. The, yeah, I'm getting it. Okay, I'll get cool. that one too. Anyway, that one has the uh, snow speeder going around with on a string around the end. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, that's awesome. Right, sorry. Yeah. See, nostalgic. These are like, fun episodes. It's that's like, exactly. All the time. That's exactly. And look at now you're gonna order something. Oh yeah. You get Tonight, into two o'clock. People who are artsy, where now Marco makes stuff. Yeah. Uh, Scott's drawing his favorite comic book, uh, Star Wars, and yeah. drawing covers now. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, we live it. Boot, bootleg is 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 modding figures and making them even better with a Luke Skywalker or anything to that. I'm mean, right. the one what, that does it with Luke. Yeah. Right. Magic marker. Right. right exactly. Right. But from when we were a kid. Very now first custom ever. Next stage, like Ramos was saying, Berserk and that's uh, Ronald Ramos. You know, and now people custom make these. Uh, yeah, do you know amazing. how many like two days later had Boba Fett figures amazing. out? Amazing, amazing. Uh, of the new, yeah. like, really good did ones you, too, man. Did yeah. you see the Hot Toys is coming out with the mm. Mando Boba Fett now? Are they no. the, the new Boba? Toys, the new yep. Boba Hot Toys Mando. Oh, crap. Yep. <laughs> we can't. Yeah, yeah, it was just, just announced away. about just announced about ten minutes before uh, we went on. Really, crap. there was a lot of stuff announced ten oh, minutes yeah. before we went. on. <laughs> <laughs> can you can right? you make payments on that one? You will be able to. Yeah, I think sale, yeah. everything on Sideshow you can. Yes. Right. So yeah. why not? Yeah. yeah. I bought a Thrawn minibus. Was that Sideshow probably? That's Gentle Giant, right? <laughs> that's oh, that was Gentle, Gentle, Giant. Gentle yeah, yeah. Giant. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Scott, yep. speaking of nostalgia, or yep. Marco, I don't know. Did you guys order the Thunder Tank? Ew. 
no, no. I'm, not a thunder, no. I'm not a thunder you guys did a thunder cats no i don't no, I, I love thunder cats i yeah. think that thunder the thunder tank is horrible what? At the it's, price, dude. It's like this big. It's massive. It's massive, Chris. It's the same thing yeah, as but, a bar. Um, or the Ernie, I have. Got, you know, it's not the first time wait, I've heard wait, something wait, massive. Wait, it doesn't mean you got to pay. That's, wait, <laughs> did Ernie just say it's like the barge? I mean, price wise, <laughs> this is a price wise. I'm sorry, but, we cannot compare okay, the Thunder. But yeah, I mean, Haslab, and now this is you know Super fair. Sevens version. That, yeah. That's fair, but I didn't. See, okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Does it have the kind of internal detail? Yes, that, that the barge has. Yeah, How could it's it? beautiful. Really? It opens yeah, up the top. Really? It has. It can. Oh, I'm gonna look. I'll go look. Dude. It can seat seven. Yeah. It has the missiles. It wow. has everything painted. The wow. It has everything. Ernie, no, I have I, got all the Masters of the Universe origins. Like I'm knee deep in that too. So I couldn't oh. I could not get <laughs> I stopped at He Man and Skeletor, dude. I stopped. <laughs> Shut up, Chris. Um, I, did too, er, I did too. And I'm not then collected nothing but these I, unleashed statues. Yeah. I, I got I got He Man, I got Skeletor, and then I took them right back to the store and said, What, what are you doing? I, think? Yeah. Dude, I got them I have all. grabbed you every pop on both. the planet. I didn't. I didn't get any of the He Man just for that reason. I yeah. can't, or I'd be right there with well, you guys. The now. origins. I mean, the, the again, the origins I'm getting because they're cheap enough, and there's mm-hmm. and they're coming out with everything. Is that I? I can't. Like I had to pick and choose between Thundercats or He Man. So it it was He Man all oh, the way. Oh, I would have picked so. He Man too. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I got. I, I already get GI Joe. I get Star Wars. I don't yeah. need any more than that. You need it all. What are you talking about? Are they supposed <laughs> to be bringing back like the whole line again of He Man? Oh, yeah, the origins was is pretty uh, everything, yeah. dude. Pretty obscure already. The yeah. origins is gonna yeah. be they, everything. They're, okay, yeah. so on. Yeah, He Man. The origins is well, everything from. Okay, talk about uh, massive. I mean, you just had Super Seven also release Gray Skull and Snake Mountain at five hundred. Snake Mountain. Right. Mount, okay, right. five hundred was worth it. Huge. Though. Yeah. Good lord. No, but you know what? It doesn't come with the Echo Mike. Oh, How did you I pay remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have the echo. You're right. Mic. I'm out. But I did right. get. The <laughs> but I did get Gray Skull yes. from Walmart for what seventy nine dollar or eighty whatever it was. So that's coming. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for the, the replica. For that I mean, it's like the replica yes. of yes. Gray Skull. So. The one we had. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh so that's good. Did, did, did you find all the rest of them in store, or did you yeah. order them? I, I have everything pre ordered, but when I find them, I cancel the pre order and. Because I can't find nothing but He Man, Skeletor, and Evil Lynn. I have all of Wave One. You I need have, to hit up Target now and, and the other places, Joe, because yeah. at first it was a uh, – so this is what they're doing now a lot is they're doing a pre-exclusive. Um, so it was to Walmart first last year. Right, and then it went – Now, as Denver, of like yeah. last month, everybody has it. Dude, I got the Battle Target, Damage Skittle uh, Tour, yeah. He-Man. I, Amazon. Uh, yeah. You can look on Amazon. They're on Amazon now. Yeah, they're on so Amazon. So it would be like – um, It'd be like a video game that you get on Xbox first for the first month, yes. right? Correct. But then all of a sudden you get that's on PlayStation. That's how that went. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stuff, right? Yeah, that, that, uh, they're doing a lot. But now the He-Man stuff is even worse because now it's all out there. Yeah. Like well, I said, Amazon, Big Bad Toy Store, Target. Joey has all of oh, them. So Yes. <laughs> yeah. I always go to Big Bad Toy Store when nobody else has it, dude, because they're... They get expensive. A little expensive, they but they have, ones. like yeah. I said, I pre-ordered everything just to make sure I got it. But if I find a store, I just cancel it. And if you're that's where, that's where I ordered the Godzilla guy. and the King Kong from because they went off, they didn't have it. Yeah. It was already gone. If you're a yeah. Yeah. Go, ahead, go ahead, Scott. If you're a mint and box guy, then Big Bad Toy Store is the place to get your mm-hmm. stuff. Oh, they yeah, they package things really nice. They package things incredibly, yeah, but if do. you're just an opener like Joey, don't yeah, don't do it. Yeah, then you try Amazon. Look up Amazon though, Joe, yeah. because like I said, there. What are we up to now, Marco? Wave three already? On G- on He Man four. Yeah, wave four. Four and four is the Shira wave. So we got Shira. I know Hordak. I saw her the other day. Or uh, uh yes. Yeah, sh- oh, you did? I want a Hordak. Yeah, Hordak. Uh, Hordak is the only character. <laughs> <laughs> oh look here it goes yeah. here it goes Hordak is the only character what he's badass looking yeah, you're gonna buy him there's really gonna buy him, I just got cool. I just got Merman the other day um I had battle battle damage Skeletor. They made an Oracle, right? Yeah, he's on wave yeah, two. Good luck finding he's, him. And he's he's they're reissuing him. So I got Orco for uh, my brother for Brandon because I he still has, need Orco. He likes He-Man. Yeah, yeah I I, I still need Orco, but I even got Panthor the other day too. So those I got are that. words that are never spoken. Orco is badass. That that is he is always, especially when he took his helmet off. Everybody was scared of his face. And <laughs> <laughs> this show went off the. It rails. did, man. Okay, <laughs> let's 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 <laughs> wind this down. Nostalgia. Yeah, I was never a He-Man fan, so I have no oh, idea what you guys are talking it, about. Scott. 
Well, right. let's wind this down again. And, uh, and uh, everybody who wants to continue to toy talk, make wait, sure you tell wait, me. Wait, Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. What? what? You, you were never a he- You are a toy collector. G.I. Joe, Star yep. Wars, and yeah. everything. And you didn't yep. dig on and mask and all this stuff. Same mm-hmm. same era. No, you didn't you like He-Man. He-Man. Didn't like it. I <laughs> I was not into do shirtless dudes wearing furry shorts. Uh, but... Conan the Barbarian. It's like? not a, that's a very what? 19, it's not a very 1984 <laughs> thing to say, because right now I would. Well, number <laughs> one, number one uh, the cartoon was garbage. Of course. And oh, what? We're all yeah. garbage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. no, Cringer, uh, Cringer's voice was the best. If oh, you go back and you watch the cartoons, now, well, now yeah, they're G. like G. what did I G.I. Joe's got some stories that are amazing. Transformers, right. amazing stories. Visionaries. Yeah. Still holds up. A mask is garbage, right. but I like the toys. He mask, made, mask is garbage, man. I've got oh, the cartoons. The cartoon, it's the awful. cartoon, yeah, yeah, the cartoon. But the toys are amazing. Yeah. Bad guy versus good guy all the time, every episode. Well, yes. it, okay, I'll, I'll <laughs> say this. I'll say this in 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 closing and stuff like like I was telling Scott this the other day. You know, Transformers. We all love Transformers as a kid, right? Like, yeah. love them. I had toys. I I really did, but I wasn't. I, I the the Transformers back in the day the they're real bulky and just yeah. ugly and I think they're still ugly but this new studio series is superb that mm-hmm. was waiting my whole life yeah. for this this series you know and that's why I'm collecting them now but well, I never the liked the, I never liked the Transformer <laughs> toys back in the day I never liked I them. liked them they were hard because they didn't they didn't transform properly when they right. did it look yeah. at the cartoon version yeah, yeah. so that, that that what you're saying is absolutely true I had them yeah. But. But now I mean, he was come easy. over and visit mine. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So it was that little toy store, guys. Remember? Okay, sorry. Folks. Okay. Go ahead. In Victorville, down Seventh Street, where the old Sears was. Do you guys remember where Sears yes. was on Seventh yeah, yeah. Street, way down yeah. deep? Yes. yes. With that little toy store right there. Yes. Did you guys ever go in that one? Yes. That's oh, where yeah. I got all my He-Man stuff. I can smell Moss Man. <laughs> from from you, there. It's are you sure that there. wasn't? Um... Do you remember the other toy store that's over there, off of where the Chuck E. Cheese Incor. used to be? Um, right. In that it's... plaza. <laughs> Do you yeah. remember where Chuck E. Cheese was? Yeah. Down on 7th yes. Street? Yeah, or, off or, of 7th Street. Yeah, down, it became well, John's Pizza later. Palmdale oh, Road. up there by Coco's, yeah. where Coco's yes. was. Yes, yes, that Chuck yes. E. Cheese in that strip mall was a toy store that sold Transformers, oh. and that dude always had jet fire right when you oh. walked in, oh. and I would just walk in and stare right. at it. Jet and fire. And it was, it was 75. That's one of my, uh, I, I wish... Right, I, if we did top 10 toys, holy grails. it would be in there. Yeah. I still don't have that. Mm. And he had it boxed. Wow. Jet, Jetfire, bucks. Is, Jetfire is one that I spent the summer. It, it was back in the day when you can go to the store, you'd see it on the mm-hmm. shelf. And I told my mom, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to save yeah. up all my money and I'm going to buy that. And I would go and I mowed lawns all summer long, went back right. to Jemco and he was still there on the shelf. So I bought him. Awesome. You know, it's, that's what you could do in the yep. 80s. You could say, right. I want that figure in two months, and you can mm. go back and buy it. That's what I hate there. about Frankincense, man. Because you go to Frankincense and find something that you couldn't get as a kid, mm-hmm. and you still can't get it as an adult because that shit's like <laughs> yeah. five times over. You still though, can't right? afford yeah. it. I know. I know. See, yeah, this- I've seen some jet fires there, and they're like 500 to 600. Yeah. 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 Well, well, remember those, remember those old real. school? Those They're like two feet tall, those, those uh, the plastic Godzilla. With the yeah. oh yeah, that came out and then the the fist came off and yeah. fired off. I've been one. I mean, I've had I had one when I was a kid, but I've been looking for one of those forever. And this guy had one at at uh Frankenson. With the miss, the the tail was missing. Okay, the tail was missing, which didn't really bother me. Six hundred. The bucks. hand was messed up. This guy still wanted eighteen hundred dollars for that. Jesus. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Absolutely crazy. Right. Uh, See, it, it, this is funny. Dollars. This is funny. That's, like that's a lot of lawns. <laughs> that's a lot yeah, of lawns man. right there. Um, lawns. This is what our line talk turns into. Even when we get yeah. together into the movies, everything goes from Star oh, Wars yeah. to toy right, talk. Man, it, I'm sure if we continued, we'd be on Lord of the Rings and Tron next. So we we were closing up at 908. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Breaking out my Tron toys. No, no, no. Black no. Hole no. Toys down can we talk about GoBots? We absolutely can. That's the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite GoBot was the big old one. It was a cap gun, and it was this big. <laughs> and his arms were the thing. Do you remember that one? Yeah. Scott? He yeah. was that yeah. tall, and he yeah. used the the ring one. Yeah. So you yeah. transformed him. Oh yeah, yeah, like, the ring one. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah. All in your nose. 
I can still smell uh-huh. it now. Smell it. Yeah. I got the bass when I must have been maybe seven years old, maybe at Christmas six or seven, and I broke it the same damn oh. night. I mean, I didn't oh. play with it for like ten minutes. All I had was Psykill and it Scooter. Up and had like an elevator on, but it opened up yes. and the whole damn door broke off. Yeah, that sucks. Broke my heart. Oh my I goodness. Got- I've got side kills, uh, leader one, scooter, a uh, couple of the others. Yes. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys. Okay, for real this time, let's, let's wind down. Um, let's go. Yeah, we got we got to get out of here. I want to thank the chat room for blowing it up today. It was awesome. It was awesome seeing yep. and reminiscing with you guys. Thank you, uh, Starlight Crew, for reminiscing. This was great. Um, Come on, do we do we really have to leave? I uh, know. Well, we have next leave. week. You know, next week's a big powerhouse <laughs> we'll week. We'll continue too, so. next week with a list of some. Oh no, we do a story. We're, we're, yeah, we're we're gonna put a poll on our our social media stuff and see what everybody else wants to talk to. Uh, so, yes. um, with that, let's get out of here, Chris. Let's. Where can we find you? Anywhere, guys. Just find me on the socials. <laughs> there Starlag you go. Socials. Hey, one more shout out to Rural Farm Boy on Twitter. Is uh really he retweets a lot of our stuff, likes everything, and really follows a lot of the Star Wars podcast. So I'm sure he's huge on there. And I meant to mention his name the last couple of episodes. Awesome. Um, just one of those great followers that is always uh, interacting and and really cool to deal with. So awesome, good farm boy. If you're listening, on Twitter up? or Instagram, Twitter. All right, you're gonna have to share the name with me so I could be sure to follow. You got it. You got it. Rural farm boy. Okay. Like Luke. And yeah. I'll, I'll put it in the chat. Okay. Cool. Scott. Where can we find uh, you? You can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, The Art of Scott Solo. Uh, find me there. Uh, what else? What else am I doing? I think Kevin and I are actually going to do a Nerd Tunes. This what? Week. Nerds with Attitude? We'll see if it Nerd happens. Nerd Tunes? I know. Please no, do nerd it. No, Nerd Tunes. Yeah, Nerd Tunes. Please tunes. do it. Awesome. awesome. Uh, we're, we're, we're thinking about it. So. Well, yeah. there you go. First step That's is it. thinking about yeah. it. Second step is doing it. That's true. No. Oh. Too easy. Are you, to kick, uh, like are you trying to kick Scott off the show? What are you no, doing? no, I just like their show, so it's not more. So. <laughs> Bootleg Joe, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me here at the Starlight Digest, and you can find me on Instagram at Bootleg Joe underscore seven six zero. Awesome, and Ernie the Fallen Fed. Uh, I want to send a huge shout out to the the people in the chat today. I saw a lot of chat migos there. Uh, Ramos, Papa Schmitty, uh, Anna V. Frankie. Um, uh, uh, Santo 1414, everybody, Mando yeah. Mike, um, who else? Gordon, everybody who was just communicating back and forth out yeah. on the Urban Spidey. That, that's Tree so Beard Toy to Box, see. too. Yeah. Uh, Tree yeah. Beard. That's, You're awesome, uh, dude. You're oh, awesome. Is Adam still in there? That's Barry. Is Adam still there or he bounced? I think he's still here. He's still yeah, here. He's still he's here. Oh, show. Adam, yeah. we hate to disappoint you, dude. I know you thought there were going to be fireworks today. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. So. We keep it in the Star Wars universe, so... So little, thank you, yeah. thank you guys for for joining us very much and being in the chat. And if you like all the toy talk, you can find me with the Toy Migos uh, on our uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with our Quickie Minis. It's your hour to get away from the world, and we'll go over all toy news. And then our two-hour podcast is Thursday nights at uh, eight p.m. So that will be tomorrow night, and we do that. Awesome. Yep. And for more toys and Star Wars. Don't forget, check out my buddy Kev at Toying Around tomorrow. He's going to have Paul Sung Hung Lee on there. That's that's way awesome. And then I know I'm going to join in there. Absolutely. Drop some Sarlacc chat in there, too, and yeah, and see where we go from there. But, Fantastic. Uh, Pretty cool. Well, I wonder if he's allowed to, how the actors do it, right? Like, we know the authors have to go through, I have to go through a, a mess for questions. Sure. No. But Dominic didn't, right? Dominic right, didn't So know. I wonder if they had to go through it with him. Because, Omid, I mean, Omid yeah. doesn't. Oh, Obed yeah, Obed doesn't. didn't either. Obed no. didn't either. Weird that yeah, actors are different. He's there, and the armor is there. I saw somebody had Bo- somebody had yeah, Bo-Katan yeah. last week, too. Yes. Oh, what? Wow. We'll, we'll get, yes. We'll get Jack off? On, on, yeah. a, on a regular Don't one. And so that. that's... I, I, will, I will sell uh, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very expensive. I, that's, <laughs> a lot, that, that's a lot of lawns. That's, that's a, lot a lot of lawns. Lot of lawns. That is. <laughs> So, guys, thank you. And don't forget um, to check us out on those links at uh, Sarlacc Central on Facebook. And then check out all our other shows that we have on your favorite listening platforms everywhere. But share us. Tell your friends. Come over and check us out on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. And we're here every Wednesday night at 8 now. So That's right. let everybody know. That's right. And next week, for Claudia Gray. damn long we want to yeah. talk. Yeah. Yeah. So much yeah. for that hour exactly. format. Yeah. Right? Next week, Claudia Gray. And Whatever. with that, Scott. Yes. Keep it nerdy. <laughs>